having enabled um, the advanced tools function in Logic Pro, we can now use flex pitch. Now what we've got to do is click the show hide flex button. And as you can see right here now, we can see this drop down menu box appear on all of the tracks in fact. Um, not just the vocals. This is sort of the flex view option and you can get there by the key command, command F and that switches it on and off. Okay. Now then let's go into this and we're going to click on the uh, default, which is monophonic and we're going to choose flex pitch. And as you can see right here, this region has now changed. The visuals have changed on there. Okay, so if you come over here and you hit this drop down in the inspector, you'll see that flex pitch has been activated as the flex mode for this entire track. You can see the other options in here. Um, and you can see we're talking about the track parameters, not the region parameters. Therefore, everything that sits on this track all the way down is now has now been analyzed and is subject to flex pitch so as you can see here that's been changed as well as this region both of these regions okay now having said that um what you can do is you can actually disable uh flex pitch for given regions so let's say for example i clicked on this region i can come up here to region in the inspector and click on that and then this uh, region now returns to normal and is no longer being affected by the flex pitch function, whereas this one is. So just bear in mind that you can actually select which regions you want to be affected. All right. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to try and make some sense of what we're seeing here in this region. So I'm going to zoom in a touch more. Let's just let's actually switch off the inspector just to give us a bit more space on the screen. And that's a letter I on the keyboard. OK, that's your key command. And I'm going to zoom by holding the command key and pressing the down arrow um, scroll up a touch and zoom a bit more, maybe a bit to the right. Again, it's command left and right, up and down arrows. Those are your zoom zoom keys, okay? And we're about there. Let's just play this back and I can explain to you what's going on. Woke up this morning about a quarter to eight Felt like I want to kick myself because I'm going to be late So right here, what we're looking at is the tuning of given notes okay and this here this if you imagine a line going right across the center now that line represents the perfect pitch okay and this um like let's take this shape for example this is how much um the the notes or note in this section deviates from perfect pitch so let's say for example this uh, uh, what was sung here was a a c um, and this is how much, in fact, it's an F. If we were to click here, you can see it's an F and it tells us exactly how much deviation from perfect pitch, um, we've gone. Now, if I was to pull this down, you can see it comes down to there, bang. So now that note is perfectly in key on pitch. Um, we can go up. We can go up by 50 cents or down by 50 cents. Okay, and I've got another video which I've done. I'll, I'll post a link here just explaining um, just uh, the intervals between notes when we talk about cents and steps or semitones or tones or full steps. That uh, I've explained in another video and I'll have a link pop up for you just to, so you can refresh on that one. But yeah. Um, the general idea is if we were to um, pull, the, pull this down beyond 50 cents or 49 cents, we'll go, this note will then change into an E. There we go. So the pitch has now changed from F3 to E3. Let's take it back up. 
Okay, we're back in F3, but we've, we've made it really flat. If we took it up, however, um, beyond that, we've got uh, 0.23, that represents 23 cents. Now, if we were to go beyond beyond 50, 49 or 50 cents we'll take we'll take this note up and we'll make it sharper and we'll move it up a semitone now we are f sharp and that is a full semitone or interval shift or half step okay now now we don't want that we want to bring it back down to the original key or note, which is F, F3, and that's bang on. Hopefully that's making sense. So in this window, I mean, there's more to flex pitch than this window. We haven't really gone in that deep yet, but this is a quick way to actually really quickly fine tune some of the notes. Um, so you might be listening through and you think, oh yeah, that note's a little bit out. Let me just quickly tweak it up. So if I was to play that back and let's, let's find one. This morning, about a quarter. This morning, I think we'll put. Let's fix that one. Woke up this morning, about a quarter to eight. But like, I want to kick myself because I'm going to be late. Yeah, I think I'll give that a little bit. Bring that up there. Woke up this morning, about a quarter to eight. And probably this one here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we got. Woke up this morning, about a quarter to eight. But like I want to kick myself, because I'm going to be late. My boss ain't an easy man. Yeah, that one there. Let's try that. Woke up this morning, about a quarter to eight. But like I want to kick myself because I'm going to be late. My boss ain't an easy man. What can I say? Now that's a real quick way of actually getting to the notes and tuning them. Okay, so what I did, I've gone back and I've undone all of those pitch uh, modifications. Um, and we're back to unaffected recording. Um, I'm going to show you a couple more things. Now, if we were to hover over, say, this one, for example, this um, note here, and I was to hold down the control key, or if you've got a mouse with a left and right button, you can right click. We're going to click here, and now we've got all of these options. We can set to, to original pitch. Uh, so let's demonstrate that, actually. Let's pull this up here. And if I was to right click or control click, set to original pitch, bang right back to where it was okay um what else have we got we've got set to perfect pitch let's try that there we go um let's go back to original and what else have we got reset pitch curve well the pitch curve we'll deal with later on because it's not being displayed in this window when we get more deeply into this uh, tutorial um, i'll show you how to do that 